Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Thank you all for checking this one out. So, it seems as if when the Aussies, when they are critiquing West Indies cricketers, their favorite word to use is pathetic. This time it's coming from Ian Healy. Man is calling Russell's performance pathetic, saying that um, he's, you know, he's been selfish and he was just bowling rubbish. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. We're going to discuss that. Also, we see where Pesa from Guyana Ransford beaten has been reported once again for an illegal action. And the youngster Isaiah Thorne will be taking over from him in the squad. So we're going to touch on those two things. Just give a listening ear until the end. And let me know what you all think in the comment section. Alright, so as the rain is pouring down, as I make this one, I want to start off with um, Ransford Beaton. Because it's not the first time that he has been reported for a suspect action. I am taking this one from the Guyana Newsroom. The Guyana Newsroom is where I'm taking this one from. And the headline says, Beaten reported again for illegal action. Thorne, that's Isaiah Thorne, named as his replacement. So it says, the Guyana Cricket Board has announced that fast bowler Ransford Beaten was called by officials for a suspect bowling action. And it was during the first round match against Trinidad and Tobago Red Force in the regional four-day tournament. Boy, it's really tough, tough luck on Ransford beat, my people. You know, remember when he just started off, he was bowling really good, rolling really quick, and he got into the West Indies team. Then, you know, he had that, um, had to remodel his action, was out for a while, came back, out for a while again, and when he came back, you know, a couple of seasons ago, he started doing well, started rising. So it's really rough that he has been called once again. You understand? Um, he actually took 2 for 39 in 12 overs on the opening day of that um, first game there. Remember, um, Trinidad and Tobago ended on 215 for 4. And they weren't able to play any further because of rain. Now, they said the GCB added that the West Indies under-19 pacer um, Isaiah Thorne has been named as Beaton's replacement in the 13-man squad. Now, Thorne, he recently returned from the Under-19 World Cup in South Africa. And, you know, he has already played first-class cricket. So, he's looking to um, go out there and, and get, some, some, get some good work in. Um, he actually was a member of the West Indies Academy against Ireland team last year. He got 4 for 33 and 4 for 8 in that game there that the academy won by 134. They say, meanwhile, Beaton's issue with his bowling action date back to 2017 when he was first reported um, for a suspect action. Um, Beaton was reported on December 27 and suspend, suspended in May 2018. He was cleared in August of 2018. He is now 31, my people, so it's really tough. It's really tough, my viewers and subscribers. As I said, he has been on the scene for a little while. Um, playing for Guyana, he has played franchise cricket, regional, um, Super 50 and, 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 um, champion, and, and, and four day championships. So it's really tough. It's really tough to see that he's, he, you know, this is what's happening once again. At 31, as a pacer, you know, getting called once again, it's, it's, it's rough, my peeps. It's rough, you know. Um, whatever, they are, whatever it is that he needs to remodel, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes based on, 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 on their action, you know, sometimes they do some remodeling, but based on, on how they bowl, um, it, 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 the change, not, not, not really, it doesn't look as if it, it, there was really much done. So um, we hope, we hope, we hope um, you know, they will do the necessary analysis take the videos, take the photos from the different angles, look at the elbow, look at the degree that is, it's been bent um, behind, beyond and, and, and then we see where we go from there. Alright, um, moving on from one pacer to another, um, you can call this one a pace bowling all-rounder, 
um, because he boasts quick when he's ready, Andre Russell. We see where the Australian um, great Ian Healy is calling out Russell and calling out um, his performance in the last T20 game, saying that he wasn't actually targeted by Maxwell. Russell Bold didn't take any wickets and gave away 59 runs. So according to Healy, he wasn't targeted. He was just bowling rubbish, saying that he bowled some ankle full toss, some, some well, shin, some full toss at shin level, which Maxwell was just waiting on, and then he would push some outside the half, some which Maxwell really fed off. He also spoke about Russell not batting up the order, saying that in a chase like that, there's no way Russell should be batting at seven or, 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 or lower than that. Should be coming in at least at number four to push the chase. And, you know, he's saying that Russell is selfish. But I wouldn't necessarily call it that, my people. I, I, see, it, I, I see it as how Rav Manpoel was saying it earlier. That the aim was to get the guys at the top there, the Johnson Charles and the Brandon King, getting us off to a flyer, getting us off to a good start. And then the middle order would carry on. And then the power, hitter, power hitters in the back end like the Russes and the others would come in and um, see where they can go from there. I mean, sometimes you're watching certain games and you really wonder why certain players don't come in before some. But I don't, I don't know. With how this batting lineup is set, I'm not too sure if you, if you really and truly would need him to come in all the way at number four. I can understand him saying that they're chasing a big total like that. So if Russell is out there and batting for 10, 15 overs, then you know... Um, is expected it, it would be expected that we would go pretty close to the total you know so he's according to ian healy it's because of, of his selfishness why he's he's doing that I, I i don't know about that you understand um he was also saying that russell got aggressive but he should only be aggressive um towards himself and um how he he, he played you know he was saying that where he was batting as i said uh shouldn't be that low he was saying oh, that's ridiculous, but he's obviously selfish is what he's saying. I, I don't know about that, my people, because it's the same thing. He, he was talking about Tim David saying that Australia, the Australians. But, but you see how life funny when he was talking about Tim David saying that Tim David, um, the, the Australians don't want to bat Tim David higher. It's just recently that they started to bat him higher. Um, you know, he was saying that they just don't want to bat him higher. But when it's Russell, it's because he's selfish why he doesn't want to bat higher. I don't know where he can get them sort of information from. <laughs> you know, um, probably he's thinking that Russell is a senior man and he could probably say, listen, I want to see if I can step up the order. But he doesn't know that. And, and this is not me defending the West Indian, but it's really weird because in the same article here, he's quoted as saying that um, it's similar to how... Um, See it right here. It's pathetic that the West Indies under underuse him like we have underused Tim David in the past. But they are slowly moving him up behind Maxwell. So he's saying that they, they just use you. The Australians are the ones that are underutilizing Tim David. But when it's Russell, it's it's, it's because he's obviously selfish, huh? How, how do you, how, how does he come by that? If you all understand what I'm saying, I don't know my people. But what these people look like? I mean, I am not defending the, 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 the bad performance, you know, it was horrible, it was terrible. But I'm just wondering how these people can switch up so when, when, it, when, when it comes on to their players. It just seems as if, I may I tell a story. Let me know what you all think in the comment section on this one, my people. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Big up on yourself and stay safe.